Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about partial differentiation. So now I will show you how to answer. So we need to do first the derivative of the function of u with respect to s. That means s will be variable y and z just likely the number. So we do first the derivative of u with respect to s. So we have yz e to the power of syz because we do first the derivative of this one. So later that we continue to do first the derivative of syz. First the derivative of syz, we only do first the derivative of s. That's why we have yz. Next, we do first the derivative of u with respect to y. So we have So we do first the derivative of yz multiplied by e to the power of syz. We just apply about the product rule of the derivative. So because we do first the derivative with respect to y, that means y will be variable and s and z just likely the number. So this one in here, you will have z. This one in here, we have e to the power of s, y, z. Later that, we continue to do first the derivative of s, y, z. So because this is about variable s and z, just likely the number. So this one, we have s and z. So s and z multiply by y and z. So we have s, y, z square. And the last one, we do first the derivative of this one with respect to z. So we apply the product rule of the derivative. So we do first the derivative of z. Later that we do first the derivative of e to the power of s y z. Later that we do first the derivative of this one. And later that we do first the derivative of e x y z. This one we have number one. This one we have s y z multiplied by s y. This one we have two s y z. This one we have e s y z multiplied by s y. And now we have e to the power of s y z. We can do about factorization in here. So we have 1 plus s y z plus 2 s y z plus s square y square z square. And now this one plus this one we have 3. And this is the final answer. That's it the end. Thank you for watching.